Hi and welcome to Moms on a Mission. If you have not subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button below. Also hit the bell notification so you know when we upload a video. We're going to continue in the book of Luke. Yesterday we read about the birth of Jesus. And today we're going to read about Simeon in Luke 2, beginning with verse 25 through 40. And this is where um, Jesus was taken to him to be circumcised under the law of Moses. And Simeon is filled with the Holy Spirit. So God has revealed some things to him uh, through the power of the Holy Spirit. Now just keep in mind, this is before God pours out his Spirit on all flesh, which we see after he fills all the apostles, after Jesus' death and resurrection and ascension into heaven, he fills all the apostles with his Holy Spirit and continues to pour out his Holy Spirit today because we are in the last days. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, Luke 2, verse 25. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and this man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. So he came by the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, and here is speaking of the circumcision, he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all peoples, a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at these things which were spoken of him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rising of many in Israel, and for a sign which will be spoken against. Yes, a sword will pierce through your own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. And here, of course, whenever... Um, we hear the word of God, it does, it, it pierces our soul. It pierces, you know, through bone and marrow, and, and Jesus reveals to us those things that um, are not of God. Um, once we're filled with the Holy Spirit, there's a battle between flesh and spirit going on, and we are to walk in the Spirit as children of God. Now there was one, Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of... Uh, Fanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was of great age and had lived with, hus with a husband seven years from her virginity. And the woman was a widow of about 84 years who did not depart the temple but served God with fastings and prayer night and day. And coming in that instant she gave thanks to the Lord and spoke of him to all those who looked for redemption in Jerusalem. So when they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own city, a Nazareth, and the child grew and became strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. And of course, that child is our Lord and Savior, Jesus, Yeshua, the Messiah, the Christ. So I hope this word has been a blessing to you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop there, and we will pick back up tomorrow. Um, in the book of Luke again. I'm, I'm reading through this book this week, um, God willing, and maybe even, you know, part into next week. But I just hope that everyone is enjoying the holiday season. Um, those of you that are celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior uh, this December, at least here in the U.S., um, it is uh, it's the month of December. And we're getting so close to the Christmas celebration. So um, I just hope that you are having a wonderful holiday. And, you know, if you are struggling during the holidays, which I totally understand that. Um, I understand the holiday blues. I understand not being able to um, do family functions and, and just get out and do the things that uh, what we consider, you know, normal that people do during this time of year. Um, I have been there uh, so many times. Some of you may or may not know I'm a parent of a child with special needs and that is sort of um, shapes your life in a whole new different way than um, most everyone around you. So with that being said, just know that if you are in Christ Jesus, you're never alone because God's Spirit lives inside of you. He lives inside of you and He is our comforter. So just 
if, if you're having a rough time, just go to him, spend time with him, sit at the feet of Jesus and let him comfort you and take care of you. So I hope you have a blessed day. God willing, I'll see you tomorrow. Shalom.